Hey driver, welcome to the channel. I'm your guy Charm, and in this video we're going to be talking about which is the better job, local truck driver or over the road truck driver. Jumping right into it, I have experience as both an over the road truck driver and currently I am a local truck driver. Um, I've driven over the road for, I started off with Hogan on their Dollar General account, driving between Ohio, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Kentucky, and Western New York. Uh, I've also driven for Western Express and Jordan Carriers, both doing flatbed. And I've driven for US Express on their Dollar Tree account. Like I said, I'm currently a local truck driver. I started off with Hogan again on their Save A Lot account, which is local. And I'm currently working for a smaller company uh, doing end up, driving between Warren, Ohio and Cleveland, Ohio. It's about a 50 mile one way trip, right? Um, so some of the benefits of driving local for me versus OTR is I get more home time as a local truck driver. You know, if you're OTR or regional, you're out with that truck 24 hours a day. Uh, sometimes you might get home on the weekends with, your, with that truck 24, 24 hours a day, five days a week. You cannot leave that truck. Um, you're sleeping in that truck, you're taking showers and truck stops, where, you know, I'm local, I'm home, all, I'm home every day. I get to sleep in my own bed. I get to take showers in my own shower. When I get off duty, I get to come home and lift weights and work out in my own home gym. You know, uh, most truck stops don't have gyms in them at all. And the ones that do, it's like a closet with some dumbbells and a machine in it, maybe. Um, the second would be pay. I actually make more now as a local truck driver than I did when I was over the road driving for one of the major carriers. Um, mainly because I get paid hourly and anything over 40 is time and a half. Now beware, not all local companies are like that. Some still pay hourly, but they don't pay time and a half. And others pay by the mile still, which you're not getting very many miles versus OTR, so you're not making as much money. So be aware of those two things. Uh, the third would be I am on a dedicated route. I drive the same route day in and day out every single day about six days a week. Um, so there's, there's no surprises. Now, depending on you, I, get to, I, I see the same things, the same people every single day. And that's just fine for me, but maybe for you, you wanna, you wanna get out and see some different things, get a little bit of different experience, uh, and see some different people, right? Uh, and lastly, the start time. I start at the same time every single day, five days a week, sometimes six. And it's usually around 5 a.m which means usually I get off around the same time every day, every night, you know what I mean? If you're one of those, you know, some guys with TR, they don't wanna get off the same time every day. They don't wanna start the same time every day. They wanna, you know, sleep in a little bit, start a little bit later in the day, or start a little bit earlier. You know, local, it's gonna be the same start time every single day for the most part. Some of the drawbacks are the early starts. Like I said, I start at 5 a.m. every day. We have guys that start at uh, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and et cetera. Uh, so if you're not an early person, you know, you, you might want to try to find a local job that's going to have you working like maybe like a, a night shift, like Sheets has night shifts. Um, my current company has night shifts. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other companies out there that have night shifts. If you're in food service, you might be able to get an overnight route, but there's those pretty those go pretty fast. Um, another drawback to being a local driver is you're going to have more stops. Uh, right now, I currently do about six stops per day, sometimes sometimes eight. Um, if you're in food service, it's going to be anywhere between 12 and 14. There's guys that even have more than more than 14. Um, versus OTR. You might have two stops a day, depending on how close together your loads are. You, know, you could get three. You know, it depends. It all depends. But you're not going to get as anywhere near the amount you're going to have if you go low. Um, and lastly would be longer hours. You're going to work longer hours when you're low. And actually, I shouldn't even say lastly. There's no more evidence. Um, you're going to have longer hours working low. I currently, right now, work between 12 and 13 hours per day depending on what I'm doing. Uh, food service, when I was doing food service, they have a 16 hour exemption. So you could be on duty 16 hours. 
you know, and then just go home, get some sleep, and right back at work. Some local jobs are like that. I'm lucky enough right now, my current job is not like that. Like I said, it's usually between 12 and 13 hours per day. Um, and lastly, this is the last one, the last drawback for local is, to me, it seemed like I got more sleep when I was an OTR driver. Um, especially doing uh, especially doing food service, I would be on duty 16 hours, I would have to come home and try to get some sleep. Now you gotta, I have to drive home and then get back up and drive to work the next day. I have to take, take time to have showers and eat and all that kind of stuff. So there would be times where I didn't get eight hours of sleep, when I, especially when I was doing food service. Um, right now, there might be a time where I don't get eight hours of sleep just because I have obligations with the family, like picking the kids up at a certain time from a certain place or something like that. Um, some of the cost, this is something nobody ever talks about. Some of the cost that you could incur if you want to be a local truck driver. Um, some companies are going to require you to have a tanker and or a hazmat endorsement, right? You have to pay for both of those. And especially if you want to go to like Keenan Advantage, Sheets, Loves, uh, Pilot, uh, if you want to haul fuel, you have to have a tanker and a hazmat endorsement. If you want to drive for FedEx or like UPS, then uh, USF Holland and I think uh, what are some of the XPO logistics, you're going to have to have a triples and doubles endorsement. So you can pull uh, two and three pups at a time, which pups are the smaller trailers. Um, so it, those all cost money. So those are some of the costs associated with becoming a local truck driver. A, I'm about to go ahead and hit these weights, get a quick workout in before dinner. If this video helped you out any, hey, hit, hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel, go over and watch some of the videos I've dropped about my weekly pay. I'm dropping them every single week. Um, other than that, if you got any questions, hit me down in the comment section. I'm trying my hardest to uh, answer everybody in the comment section. I do work a lot. So with that being said, I'm your guy Charm. I'm about to hit these weights, man. I'm about out of here. Peace.